Um, well, welcome to this exciting day. The realisation actually, not just of a two year, but of a three year dream. The atrium was conceived three years ago by the leadership team at South Dartmouth Community College. Um, basically because we were really concerned that there was a, a big skills gap uh, in the construction, the built environment area across the region, but also that vocational education itself was something that was always tagged uh, as something that less able students did. Now, there's lots of provision for very hands-on vocational education, but what we wanted to develop was actually something for aspirational vocational students. Students um, who are academically capable, but had a real passion for work in a particular area. And in the case uh, of the atrium, in the area of the built environment. So what we wanted to develop was a school that developed quantity surveyors, architects, ecologists, people who could go into the industry at the highest possible level, quite likely via the university route. Now, as you will see all around you, we're standing in a wonderful new building. John Ruskin said that we require from buildings two kinds of goodness. First, that doing their practical duty well, then that they be graceful and pleasing in doing it. I believe satellite architects, and Stuart will have his say in a minute, have actually delivered on both counts. We've been using the, the building now um, across the last month, um, and I think all of the students will tell you what a fantastic learning environment it is. Um, and they'll tell you at great length, as they do me whenever I pop over to see them and they're learning. Now, projects such as these are huge undertakings for schools. Historically, we're not particularly well equipped to take on four million pound building projects. Um, but from South Dartmoor, I have to thank uh, B. Mukherjee for her meticulous work in developing and submitting um, the bid for this project, uh, a bid that proved to be very successful and was described by the DfE assessors as the best bid they'd ever seen, which is, is quite an accolade when you see the number of these projects uh, that are going ahead. And we're lucky to have B here today. Um, I would also like to thank the steering group, Graham Powell, Adrian Wills, Nigel Gore, Gemma Fitzgerald, Steve Goodhue and Janet Brennan for all their input, uh, and consultant Nick Swan, who supported B with the bid writing. And I'd also like to thank Mel, right from the outset. Mel wrote less of support. He was here at the, uh, the turf cutting, and has been a big supporter, not just of South Dartmoor Multi-Academy Trust, South Dartmoor Community College, um, but very much of, of this project. The process of building the atrium was as painless as probably any building project could be. I've been involved in a few, um, and projects I've been involved in on a far smaller scale than this have caused far more angst. Um, this was about as easy as it gets. Um, and I think we have to say that is really down to the fantastic company we worked with, um, namely Kia. And I know they're here, but I'm not gonna save their, their blushes. Kier uh, and their supply chain were wonderful partners and continue to be wonderful partners as we still finish off the last bits of the, of the project. I have to make particular mention of Andy Shepherd from Kier who ran the project on site um, and who delivered an incredible level, level of customer care. Whenever there was a, a slight glitch, it was sorted uh, almost before you knew it had happened. Um, and it was a, a joy to work with him when you consider that the compound for this site cut right across the South Dartmoor site, and yet throughout the whole building period of a year, we really didn't have a single issue. Um, I also need to mention Andy's close working relationship with Atrium's assistant principal, Gary Murphy. Uh, Gary Murphy has worked absolutely tirelessly on this project um, from the Atrium's point of view, and that relationship between um, Gary and Andy has been fundamental to the delivery of uh, high quality building and on time. Two other key players who must be mentioned are Dave Jenkins from Keir, who worked closely with us to bring the building in on budget. Now, 
It's not often a quantity surveyor ever gets a positive mention. Um, certainly not as exciting people, but my father's a, a quantity surveyor, so perhaps I've got a soft spot. But Dave Jenkins worked tirelessly to help us actually deliver this project on budget, um, which was quite remarkable given some of the challenges, um, voids in the ground, etc., etc., that we found. Uh, so thank you, Dave. I'd also like to thank Richard Penn Hale from the South Dartmoor uh, Multi Academy Trust. All of the IT around the site, um, he has been instrumental in choosing it, fitting it, and now making it work. Uh, and has worked in incredible uh, hours to make that happen. Um, I'd also like to mention Glen Dinnings. Part of the supply chain produced, supplied an awful lot of the materials here, a long time partner, obviously, of of the South Dartmoor uh, Community College, but Glen Dinnings also then just put in a few extras for the college completely free of charge, so we've got uh, outside a completely new entrance uh, set up for South Dartmoor Community College that Glen Dinnings did uh, just to improve the, the general environment as well. So I'd like to thank Glen Dinnings, um, Ian Glen Dinning, Barry Wilson for, for all of their support. Um, a little later on, we'll hear from, from Matt Messias, um, Atrium's inaugural principal. But I'd like to leave you with the thought um, from Yoshio uh, Taniguchi. Now, he said that architecture is basically a container of something, a teapot. I hope the students here um, will not just enjoy the teapot, but also the tea. And as Matt Messias will find as principal here, your job is very varied. Brewing tea, though, is going to be a key part of this because what we deliver for our students here in terms of the specialist setting, the rich educational opportunity we want to give them is now crucial. We've got the building, that is fantastic, but what happens inside the building is even more important. Thank you very much. <laughs>